If you were a first century Christian and you lived in Laodicea, you would feel blessed. This town had a booming economy. Planted on the major trade routes of its day, goods came from all over the world, made the marketplace rich and lavish. It happened to be the banking center of this region. Its textiles were beautiful and coveted all over the known world. And it had a corner on an ISAD, a medicine to treat eye problems that people came from far and wide to purchase here. I guess if Laodicea were a modern town, it would have posh malls and expensive car dealerships. And the nice thing about being a Christian in this town, you probably had enough money to shop in all those places and buy whatever you needed. The affluence was so deep that in AD 17, when the earthquake devastated this area, Laodicea said to Rome, thanks, but no thanks. <laughs> we don't need your help. We can rebuild this town ourselves. So at the end of the day, this was a really good place to live. And while Laodicea was a really neat place to live, it had one big problem. There was no water here. The town was planted here to place it at the crossroads of the trade routes. That was an advantage, but the water was a serious disadvantage. So what they did was bring water from a source miles away. They constructed a long avenue of these kinds of water pipes, and it brought the water into the town from a cool, refreshing source. Now, the challenge with that was that in the hot sun of Asia Minor, by the time the water got here, it was tepid, it was lukewarm. Um, it was kind of like your tea not being iced or hot, just room temperature it was not very attractive. Worse yet, that particular water source was full of minerals, the kind of minerals that flavored the water to make it taste awful. Even the remaining water pipes here, you can see the sedimentation of these minerals uh, that made you, when you drank it, you'd want to just spit it out of your mouth. If you boiled your vegetables in that water, <laughs> it would wreck your dinner. Um, if you boiled water in your house, it'd make your whole house smell from the steam. In modern day terms, if you had ice cubes from this water, it would wreck your lemonade. <laughs> So the water was a horrible problem here. Unlike Colossi, the neighboring town, that got its water from the mountain snowmelt. It was cool and refreshing and tasted wonderful. In modern times, you would have been able to buy, no doubt, bottled water, mountain pure water from Colossi. That's what it was like. And Heropolis, the other neighboring town, had these marvelous hot springs. But Laodicea, it was stuck with really bad water. <laughs>